Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, craft beer review. I do apologise to this high uh, since about three o'clock this afternoon. It's had summit in it and uh, I've had gunk coming out of it. It's as red as they come now. So it looks like I've been in a boxing ring with somebody. God knows who. Um, so we venture via um, low cost beer, that's where I got this from. We're going over to America to other half brewing again out of New York and Washington, uh, Brooklyn and whatnot. So this is called broccoli. It's, it's got pictures of different coloured broccoli on it, which is uh, different nonetheless. Uh, uh, it's described as a double dry hopped India pale ale, imperial India pale ale, 7.9%. It does not say anything else. So yeah, from Brooklyn, New York, from Broomfield, New York, and Washington, D.C. So, let's dive in. Because, you know, you've got to do these things, haven't you? Little treat, little treat to end the night. Smell that tropical goodness in the can. Broccoli, everyone. Broccoli. Looks like no broccoli I've ever seen, but hey, that's a good thing. So, lit, super bright, orangey looking pour. Uh, decent size head, to be fair. Oh, dear. Doing my bolting, that is. Um, These are stunning beers. The people in the UK have got something to, something to uh, strive to. Just, just the froth itself. Tropical. There was vanilla then. Um, vanilla. Um, looks absolutely spot on, doesn't it? Cheers, Benjamin. Um, but, um, although he's off the bed at the moment, so fair play. Um, oh, dear. Absolute crease in there. I've washed me out about 20 times, and it's really, really painful. Um, and it makes me look funny. I don't even look at the camera at the moment. See, I've had a lot of IPAs over the years. I've had some boring ones from 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 uh, Tesco's that were made by Brew Water or Cloud Dog. I'm not sure who they are. <laughs> Little joke there, um, but you know where I'm coming from. Um, and th there's been lots and lots of IPAs I've tried, but I've got to be honest. Aroma wise, taste wise, intensity, complexities, you know, it um, it certainly delivers across all levels. And as I said on the last other half brewing, the beer that I reviewed, this is a bloody stunning beer. And again, true treat beer. Just chucks the flavour in and say, get that down, you kid. And, um, you know, there's not many beers that you've had. And it's, it's, it's very rarely do you get beers these days, when you've had thousands, that, you know, like I say, wow. And that really either shock you with their taste, now and again it comes along, but these other halves have been consistently blooming good. Now 
like I say, not really feeling the aroma, to be fair. But, um, yeah, stunning nonetheless. Um, feeling the ABV rather, as if, you know, it's been a long night, 12 hours working, and uh, falling asleep on the settee with my gammy eye, and, uh, <laughs> I just watched them down on Coronation Street, so my, my brain's fazzled. Yeah. There was a time when I'd have tootle up on the computer and just do computer work and keep out of the way. But obviously, when you've been away from the wife all day, you know, you need to sit down with her and spend time. Um, albeit watching crappy, crappy bloody um, soaps. Oh, so I've got to be honest, not feeling it tonight. I hope this has gone by tomorrow night because I've got a big night coming up on Thursday for the channel. Hoping to do some videos, don't know if I am or not yet, but I'll have my phone with me just in case. And uh, hoping to do some li a live as well and put a live on. Um, and uh, <laughs> get people doing live chatting or, or get on, or, on a camera, or, on a microphone. That'll be funny. And uh, <laughs> I'm all up for a bit of ribbon. <laughs> uh. So we'll see on that side of things. Uh, oh, got poor, poor, the dirt in it. I'm trying to just get the dirt out. All good fun. All parts of being a gardener, you know, these things happen. So, yeah, over half. Out of New York, got it from low cost. We've had a stunning amount of beers just lately. Just recently, rather. Lately, I meant. Um, other half brewing, uh, Mortalis, to name just a small amount of the, the breweries, and they really are cranking them in. And if you've got the pennies, uh, well worth popping over and uh, pranging that forty-five quid postage and packaging thing. Because it's it's not worth paying forty quid and then paying seven quid delivery. Because it was point. You might as well pay 45 quid and get free delivery, you know, if you're going to do it, obviously. They have got the adventure, um, the advent calendar. Uh, this year it's 60 quid, obviously times change a little bit. I think it was 45 last year, so it's, it's gone up a bit, but obviously prices have gone up a bit as well. Um, still cheap compared to a lot of other calendars out there. And obviously a varied range of beers. Hopefully all the beers are the same. And hopefully, after I've come back off my holiday, uh, I shall be ordering one. And hopefully there's still got some left. There's lots of variables in there, obviously. But it will be good to get back on doing live reviews from December the 1st. Get back into the spirit of things. Um, Tempted to clean the octave room out and um, set the fire in there and put all the beer mats on the wall as you do. And uh, I'm sure I've got some beer mats somewhere. And um, make like a beer room in there, but not without the foil roof. So actually, for doing just for doing lives in. It may be the thing. As long as they don't run out of gas, that dog's a good one. So. Look at that bad boy. Tasting spot on. 
looks properly vibrant orange now. I did notice a little bit of sediment flow in then. Not that it means any difference to the beer, but um, in some ways it's probably a better thing. You know, it's a, it's a good thing to see that in. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning looking for. For me, I get a tropical nose. By gosh, just, um, an intense, uh, flavorful mouthfeel to this. Um, wow. Although I don't know what broccoli, where broccoli comes into it, but there you go. Don't taste no bloody broccoli in it. Probably a good thing, eh? Um, a five. Again, a good 4.6. Another absolutely top class Imperial IPA from Other Half Brewing from America. And that's it for this uh, beer review. As always, thank you everybody for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully with a better eye. Because... Uh, yeah, it's doing me absolute nothing, and it's not easy. Cheers, all.